Come on inside and showing us an easy and fashionable way to DIY your own printed pocket square. I wear them all the time. Oh, I don't have my name today. For today. I have my flower on today. Okay. Harley Shani is here. Yes. Maybe I'll have to borrow one of these to complete my look yes, a little bit more. Definitely fabulous. So this project was as inspired by two people that are very near and dear to you. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to introduce them because they're on FaceTime? Your Absolutely. son, Andreas. My son, and Andreas, oh. and his beautiful wife, Courtney. Hi. Wow. Hey guys. I'm the fabulous rescue dog, Higgins. best rescue dog on the planet. Higgins. <laughs> Hello, Higgins. Oh. And they're, you guys are newlyweds. They were just yes. married in August, Just right? married in August, and really this inspiration came from Courtney, who's excellent at sketching, she's such a talented artist, and she wanted Higgins to be part of the wedding ceremony, but, you know, he couldn't actually be there, and so made the sketch and went from there. Tell us about it, Courtney. Yeah, so, you know, it's hard to bring a dog to a wedding, so I figured <laughs> we would find some way to incorporate him without violating any, you know, coding laws or any laws with animals. So I ended up sketching him, doing a little sketch, and then Googled a, just Googled any way to make custom pocket squares. I found a website online, uploaded my sketch, and ended up printing um, there it is. still oh, pocket squares for oh, all yeah. of our groomsmen. Oh. <laughs> that is so adorable. It's adorable. it's adorable. Let me just say, Higgins, if Higgins could open the door for you, he would. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's just a sweetheart. He's just a sweetheart. And Andreas wound up giving all the pocket squares to all the groomsmen oh. As, oh, as, wonderful. Uh, as their gift. Oh, how, yeah. was that, how was that wedding for you, Susan, to see your son walk down the aisle? Oh, for me, it was such a happy, happy time, such a thrill, and of course, very emotional, too. We had a, a first dance together, too, and but they're so happy together, and they're so good together, you know, sure. so that's what you want for your children. And wasn't Helmet the... Oh, well, I mean, we began with the fact that Andreas asked his dad to be the best man. Oh, so, so that was wow. so special and and just such a privilege. That is a that is a sure indication of the parent good parenting when the yes. son that's very very, special. very very special and we well, had a lot of laughs yeah. all along the way planning. Yeah, it was so much. Day. There were a couple of photos, right, that we have, we have some beautiful that I'm dying to photos. see. Oh, oh look at that! Oh, look at oh. that! Oh. <laughs> Been waiting for this moment. That, that dress. dress, Courtney, is everything. Thank you. And your your arms. I, uh, I was like, wow. Equally, your arms are everything. Andreas, yeah. are you? That was the goal. Uh, that was the goal. Wow. Yeah. You look fabulous. Well, in honor Thank of you. you and Higgins and the beautiful pocket square you made for all the groomsmen, Orly is going to show us how we can do this exact thing at home with another very special um, sketch of okay. someone we all know and love. Yeah. I don't know if you saw this little sucker right here. <laughs> Look at this, Dave Lowe, the man of many talents. Love it. We knew we wanted to create a pocket square that was not a poochie scarf, but a luchi scarf. <laughs> and so Dave Lowe sat down and instantly sketched this. I mean, he's got the hair on point, the eyelashes. It's just oh, really he, working. Oh, found a really nice photograph. And I just want to say, so this is if you want to see your mother-in-law at all times. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but this is this is really easy to make, and I'm going to get right into it. The, the first thing you're going to need is your artwork. Now, if you have someone talented like Courtney or Dave Lowe, you want them to go ahead and sketch just one. Sketch one, scan it into your computer, and upload it. What we did is we created a repetitive pattern, and I wanted something that was going to feel a little bit retro, like you know maybe a, a Pucci artistic feeling or a brand that has that repeated pattern. Mm -hmm. We had Susan sign her signature here and added that in as well. And so now what I've done is I put fabric paper. So this is fabric paper here. We use it a lot on the show. However, this one is different. This one is 100% silk. You want to make sure you get 100% silk. It will make all the difference in the world. Put it in your printer. This will work on an inkjet or on a laser. And now I'm just going to go ahead and print it. It's going to go right through a regular printer. And I'll show you when it comes out how we do it. But there's two things that you can do at this point. You can either be done with it as is and use this. And since it's going to go in your pocket, you're not going to see the edges. If you think you might want to use it as a, as, is it working? 
Oh, there we go. If you think you might want to use it as almost like a handkerchief or something, you're going to want to clean finish the edges. Right. So that's just a little detail that's up to you. Or is it even a scarf around your neck? Okay. A, so what I was yeah. saying is I wish I had thought of this earlier. Imagine if you had printed two or three of these length, lengthwise and sewn them together so you could tie How it beautiful like a little is. retro scarf. I yeah. actually even do that more with the of Higgins, your mother-in-law. Higgins scarf. Do you really? <laughs> yes, I do. I think this would be a bit much for me to walk around with myself <laughs> tied around my I neck. I don't know. Not right so much there. for your son though. I think yeah. you look great on Andre. I feel like if anyone can get away from it, it would be you. Yeah. So here we have it now. You're going to just go ahead and peel it. Be careful because even though it's dry, it still is kind of inclined to like smush up a little bit. Okay. I did it after about 10 minutes and put it in the pocket and it like got a little messy. So you're going to peel it. But look, now it's like silk. That's it's, beautiful. That's it is beautiful. silk. Yeah. yeah, it is it's silk. It literally like it is. It is, but I remember beautiful thinking feel. it's not really going to feel that great. And as yeah. soon as I peeled it, I was like, oh my gosh, this feels incredible. So you could be done right now if you wanted to. What <laughs> if, do these come in other colors? What if I wanted it to be like pink or blue? Okay, yeah. so once you're done with it and it's fully dried, give it some time, you could dye it. It's 100% silk. You could dye it any color that either matches with your bridal party or the event. Or another thing, just so you guys have some creative ideas here, another thing to think about is if you didn't want something like this that was a face or a caricature, just think Valentine's Day is coming up. You could write a love letter, scan it in, and oh, print it, it. Oh, and give that as a gift. Oh, like, there's never-ending possibilities with this, so be really creative with it. But it's just fabulous. So, so I get to wear this. Um, Andreas, let me ask you, I have to, this is, and, and Susan, you cannot jump in because I want Andreas to answer. What was Susan like as a mom? Oh man, as a mom, she was the best. She, she was there, you know, working crazy hours on all my children, travel and shoot movies, but always there in the morning and at night, um, raising us as we were going to school and stuff. And then just a lot of professional, <laughs> um, a lot of just a, just a rock in terms of the ups and downs of, of, of trying to find yourself and, and get out of college and then into a career, uh, just an incredible you know, inspiration, but also a rock, you know? Right. And is she a pretty good mother-in-law, Courtney? Oh, the best. <laughs> yeah. You're together, finally. Yeah. Someone who can fashion and shoes, and she's an absolute dream as a mother-in-law. A great dog grandma and a <laughs> great person overall. Well, I want you to know she was bragging about both of you quite a bit during rehearsal, yeah. so she feels exactly Although the same. Although a little bit more bragging about Higgins, right. just yeah. so you know. <laughs> and one final question, um, Andreas and Courtney. How would you feel wearing this to your next big event? In the I, can we have one for everyone in the family? I know he can have <laughs> yeah. yeah. it all day. He can put it right here. Right. So, so Susan will always be looking right back at you, Courtney.